technologists in government and industry have been frustrated over the last several decades by compliance exercises that may or may not result in better performance. I asked Ravi Jagannathan, Senior Director of Global Certification Assurance and Trust for Palo Alto Networks, how FedRAMP's doing at actually providing a more secure cloud as opposed to complying to standards. Ravi Jagannathan of Palo Alto, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining me. What, how is FedRAMP doing, do you think, at providing an outcome, more secure cloud, rather than a kind of a list of compliance exercises that people have to check off? From, uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. So from the vantage point that I am at, I think FedRAMP is doing a decent job from my personal point of view in, in providing security solutions to the government agencies. It's also about how the product behaves and the overall security posture and deployment of the product. So I think it's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. What would keep that momentum going in your view? What, how, how do you see this evolving over time? So FedRAMP is not static, right? FedRAMP is evolving. So we, were, we are going from Rev4 to Rev5, which FedRAMP PMO announced. So and it includes some supply chain controls. And then over the last 10 years, FedRAMP also has improved in its uh, how the controls are implemented and the number of controls and how the agencies see it. So it is, it is not a static standard, it is evolving. So it is adapting to the, you know, the security needs of the day mm -hmm. as it progresses. How do you see the threat landscape changing and what does FedRAMP need to do in your view to follow that, to, to make sure that it stays up to date with the needs of the agencies and with the vendors who are trying to serve those agencies? So uh, threat landscape changes because of the, you know, the, the actors, all kinds of actors, good, bad, and you know, all kinds of actors, they also are evolving. And the technology is evolving. Like in crypto, it's from, you know, going to quantum crypto, right? So the technology is evolving, uh, threat actors are evolving. So in, accord in accordance with FedRAMP and their controls is also changing and it is adapting and how the three PAOs are assessing FedRAMP controls are also adapting to this new you know, phenomenon in the as and when it happens. Mm -hmm. And FedRAMP PMO, in my opinion, uh, they, they respond to it very quickly. What do you see uh, driving the continuing evolution? Is it just going to be the threat landscape or will it be what the user experience should look like in the long term? What are some of the other factors that people should pay attention no, to? User experience at the center of it. No matter how FedRAMP is evolving, how the products are evolving, or the threatscape is evolving, users are always at the center of it, right? How, for example, end users experience the product. All kinds of threats and the landscape may be happening within the scope of FedRAMP, but the end user, to a large extent, it should be seamless to them, how they experience the service. How they experience the service is very critical and it, it should be easy, intuitive, and it, it should be seamless to the end user. There is also another kind of users that are there, that is the administrators of the services that are within the government agencies, and how they get to configure and deploy the services that the CSPs provide. That is also another user experience. At Palo Alto Network, we take user I mean, interface and user experience very seriously. We actually are moving everything to the to the left, mm -hmm. we start considering how user experience sh should be and how it takes place right from you know defining the product requirement, functional spec, and the design spec, and in our testing phase. So it is not a, much of a bolt-on thing, it happens right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. So that has been improving the user experience. We, we take that very seriously. A little less than a minute left, Ravi. Um, when you say uh, how users experience the product, I, I wonder if maybe the end goal is that the users don't experience the product, that they don't know that there's a security solution involved. They're just going about their job. That is that is definitely an important point. Security is something that needs to happen seamlessly. Mm -hmm. Users should not even be able to feel, hey, something is happening here. And, and I totally agree with that. As a matter of fact, if you look at a lot of you know, the Palo Alto networks, you know, the, how we deploy you know, AI in SOC to, to basically crunch large amount of data that we have to ease users' experience, and how we deploy our network security and in the product development, those kind of things, 
we want it to be as seamless as possible. That is definitely our aim. It's great to see you. Thanks for your time today, Rob. Same here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.